That's not entirely true, but I'm thinking now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had a live read to do and other stuff. Uh, I think they rank that far back in um, third down efficiency. Uh, third down efficiency. Uh, okay. That's actually not true at all. They, they're probably outstanding at third down efficiency. So you're at a loss is what you're telling me. Yeah. It's hard to imagine. I need, I need some more, unless Kang has been thinking about it all break like I haven't. Not. Kang, you have a guess as to what this might be? Uh, I'm going to go fourth quarter points. See, it's not a trick question. It's not something like somebody, okay. Will in Detroit said it's points scored in the fourth quarter. It's not something that might be, you know, to a second half pass efficiency because he never plays. It's an actual statistical category where nobody in the country, you want to be ranked number one. And everyone in the country is better at it than Alabama, which is hard to imagine. You think about the way Alabama recruits, the way Alabama's got a machine rolling, the way they're coached, they are literally dead last in this category. Interceptions? Kang, you afford another guess before I, I start reading some of these texts? No. Okay. <laughs> I cannot think of anything Alabama's that bad at. Okay. So uh, these are some of the guesses that came in. Some of them signed, some of them not. Unnamed text are third down conversions. Next one, is it's, is the stat punts inside the 20? Next one is my guess is it's fourth down conversions. From Cal D and Martin, special teams defense. From an unnamed texter, stat has to be time of possession. From Kevin and Shelby Township, punting yards. From Will in Detroit, it's points in the fourth quarter. No, it's not a trick question. Hey, guys, Brian from Atlanta. I think it's field goal percentage. Both are rough. Gator, do you think it's any of those? No. Okay, here's what it is. Clemson is 92nd in the country in average punt, averaging 39.6 yards per punt. Alabama is dead last, averaging a pathetic 35.05 yards per punt. Now, I was trying to craft a way that Clemson could win this game. And oftentimes, the most overlooked facet of a football game is special teams, right? I mean, just as a general rule, you, you, it is there are 30 to 30 to 45 special teams plays in a game. You don't realize it until you start adding up extra points and kickoffs and punts. And if you aren't good... In that facet, it, those are big mistakes. Special team mistakes are game changers. They're 50-yard mistakes. They put points on the board. They take points off the board. Special team mistakes can kill you. Clemson special teams are awful. So are Bama's are too. But Clemson in punting, 92nd. In punt returns allowed, or sorry, in punt returns, 85th. Punt returns allowed, 48th. Kickoff returns, they're 33rd. They're actually not bad. Kickoff returns against 55th. Field goal percentage, Clemson is 101st in the country in field goal percentage. They're not outstanding in anything, but Bama ain't great either. <laughs> so that was net average, though, is what you pointed out. No, it's just in your yards per punt. Because what if they're punting from the 50 all the time? Because they, they're rarely three and out. You know what I mean? They moved the ball, but then they didn't, you know, score. That's a good point, They have Jane. less, you know. <laughs> it could be. Skater. It could good be. Good point. Oh, I like that point. It, it could be. It, it affected, yes. But I don't know that that takes off your net punt or your average yards per punt. If you kick it into the end zone, you get credit for the yards, but the net is affected. This is just your average punt distance. It would affect your net more than it would affect your – your punting average. Well, but it's a valid point. My guess was what I said, uh, interceptions. Yes. Alabama ranks 24th in the country. Yep. I think they picked off 20 passes this year. They're tied with a bunch of teams. Yep. Clemson ranks 72nd in the country. They only picked off 10 passes this year. It's. <laughs> They're tied with Central Michigan. I struggle with crafting ways that Clemson can win this game, which is why I'm at a nine. I really think Alabama's going to win, and I don't think it's going to be a blowout. But I just, I like, I feel very comfortable with Bama in this game. Well, let me try to sway you the other way and st give you other reasons. Uh, the quarterback that Clemson just faced, Ian uh, Book. Yep. He's a really good dual threat quarterback. They held him in check, man. They yep. really did. And knowing that the two is also a kind of a dual threat kind of guy, and, and so is Hurts when they're in there, guys that can run, that defensive line can really create problems for Bama's offense. And maybe it's just as simple as you look back at the Bama LSU game 
All right, everybody was getting, getting excited about it, and I thought, no way, Bama's going to blow them out. Well, the final score, Alabama scored, what was it, 20, 27 points, but they shut them out. Maybe it's going to be something like that, where Bama's not going to be able to score much, but Clemson may not score at all. Is that something where you're seeing that kind of a dominance, or do you think this is going to be like a, a 45 to 20 game? Uh, I don't think it's going to be that high scoring. I mean, I'm looking at Bama something like, like 24, 10, 24, still, 24, impressive. 14, something like that. I just think Bama at the line of scrimmage is going to win when Clemson has a football. Don't get me wrong. I think Bama is going to win as well, but I, th- I, I could see scenarios where, okay, Clemson, you, they, they give Lawrence enough time to throw and, they're so in tune with his he's so in tune with his receivers that they can they can make the plays down the field that are necessary to be made. Champ and chum, get your votes in. Uh coming up today at eleven fifty. It was the worst part of the college football weekend. And uh we gotta talk a little college basketball. Both Michigan and Michigan State with impressive wins. We'll get to that at eleven thirty two. Here on ninety seven one the ticket.